<clears throat> we're uh, we've toured through this town near Kolki. Uh, this is I would call this a village again. What uh, what I wanted to show you just how kind of magical it is, and all of these homes. <clears throat> were stone or stone covered by a type of plaster like this one right here. <clears throat> and all of the, well, most of the people have temporary homes that are built out of corrugated steel um, and some type of a wood material. <clears throat> Sorry, I ran to the car and now I'm still a little out of breath to grab this other camera. Um, but uh, again, I've shared this before, but they're waiting for the government to determine what is going to actually happen for the permanent residents. Um, this, this spot right here was was a house and now it's rubble which they've cleared away um, but it's um, it's just a it's a beautiful village in a in a very beautiful area <clears throat> Uh, namaste. And people are working, what, it's 1.20 in the afternoon. Uh, it is Saturday. But every day is a work day when you're struggling to eat and find that next meal. Um, during our time together, one of the conversations was how many people have... Uh, family members outside of this area sending them money to contribute to their income and probably half half the people shared that there are family members that live in Kathmandu or outside of Nepal a lot in the Middle East and in India that send money back to uh, to, to this area to help them take care of. They have four months of food security here also, um, kind of like in the last couple of villages that we've been in. <clears throat> but in saying that, that's, that's, I got a little more clarification on that. That incorporates um, how much food they have from their own land. They do have, um, they do have access because of some money that family member sends them um, or, or other areas, uh, like they will, they'll sell things. Um, they will have, um, they'll be able to, to buy things in the market. Um, but I'm just walking around this village. It's mystical, I love it. It's, it's kind of like a little dreamland um, all these different areas and <clears throat> I hope you can see this. This is what a water source looks like in the area, in a banyo or a little latrine. Um, <clears throat> there is a lunch that's happening here now in the... Oh, here's another example. Here's the earthquake damage. Now this isn't, this is just a, 
uh, on the porch. The main part of the house, um, I don't know exactly. I know that this was, this was a house a year ago. Um, I think, I think it's always been corrugated or they've done something, but they do still reside in this property. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 